This is a DVR Examiner 3 how-to video tutorial. This video is on how to scan multiple sources into a case with DVR Examiner 3. So when you first start DVR Examiner, the screen that pops up is the start screen. And from here, you can select to add your first source, either by selecting a physical disk or by scanning an image file. Once you've scanned your first source, then from the home screen, you can add additional sources. Or we can immediately go to the home screen by selecting Create New Case. And the DVR Examiner home screen opens up. In the Case Explorer panel here, you can see that we have no sources added. There are two ways to add sources from within the home screen. Uh, the first is from within the Case Explorer panel itself. Simply highlight the case, right click, add source, and the add source screen will pop up. And from here, you can select your physical disk or your image file. I'll go ahead and select an image file. and when this detects, the detection results and scan options screen will populate and then we can go ahead and click perform scan. So now we've added our first source. You can see that the source is added in the Case Explorer panel and clips have been added to the clip list. We can also highlight the scan job in the Case Explorer panel and see under scan details that the scan is 100% complete. So now that we've got our first source added, I'm going to go in here and change the name to Source 1, just for clarification. Uh, we can go ahead and add our second source. Again, you can simply right-click, go Add Source to add your second source. Or if you would like, come up to the Case panel, or Case tab, and select Add Source. Selecting Add Source from here opens up the exact same Add Source screen, where I'm going to select my second image file and the same steps as the first detection uh, will happen. We'll get through the detection results and scan options screen and then perform scan. You can see that here that the job scan job has been added and that we're currently at now at 100% and that the clips have been added to the clip list. And now we have our second source added which I'm going to rename source 2. So now we've got two sources added to the clip list, source 1 and source 2, and you can see in the clip list here, those are identified via the source ID column, source 1 and source 2. Uh, these checkboxes next to the sources in the Case Explorer panel allow you to hide or view the clips for that specific source. So if we did not want to see the clips for source 2, we uncheck it, and all those clips for that source are now not visible within the clip list. We can do the same for clip one, <clears throat> excuse me, for source one, and then we can add just source two if we'd like. So you can add as many sources as you'd like to the Case Explorer panel, and they will all function the same way. And again, you can add sources by either right clicking the case and selecting to add a source, or by coming up to the Case tab and selecting the Add Source icon.